Today I have a Redodo Group 24 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And normally I do a capacity test on these batteries, but I've done a capacity test on Redodo before and had great results with both their 50 amp hour and their 100 amp hour mini. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna test usage with it hooked up to a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. We're gonna turn some stuff on and see how far we can push it. Okay, this is the 100 amp hour RG24 Red Odo battery that they sent me and wanted me to do more testing on. It's um, 1280 watt hours, you can see right there. And this is my 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Renogy. I've actually had this for a couple of years. My original intent was to install this in the back of my truck with my battery box that's sitting right there. A lot of updates coming to that battery box, working on another video for that right now. But my original intent was to put this in here and have it running all the time, or have it available all the time. But it's just, you see how massive it is. See how big it is right there. And then the battery box is there. And I could technically fit it in there if I wanted to, but I wouldn't have as much room for other stuff that I want. So I'm going to back up and regroup. I'm going to do something with this or just don't know what yet. Anyway, I got all this hooked up right here. We got some one aught gauge wire connected with the battery here. The battery is at about 98%. I downloaded the app. We can see right here, 97%. It's 97% there. Capacity is 100.5 amp hours. But here's one thing that I don't really like so much. I turn the inverter on and I've got my Klein Tools meter on this thing here. Oops, let me turn that off. Almost messed up. And while the inverter is on by itself with nothing else running, it's still drawing about two and a half amps an hour. So I was at an Overland show about two years ago and I met a guy. We were talking about inverters and whatnot and battery power and solar and all kinds of stuff. And I told him that I had this, this inverter and he's like, why do you need a 3000 watt inverter? And I'm like, why not? I mean, why not get the biggest one you can? 3000 watts is basically the biggest inverter you can get for a 12 volt system. You can get a 6,000 or 7,000 watt inverter for a 24 volt system and it kind of goes up from there. But he's like, well, I had a 3,000 watt and it kept killing my battery. So I traded it in for like a 1,000 or 1,200 watt. And I'm like, why would your, why, something's beeping at me over here. Let me turn that off right now. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Why would your inverter draw power if there's nothing running from it? And I thought that was strange. I, I plugged this inverter in. I connected it to the battery via one aught gauge wire before I plugged anything into it and I turned the inverter on. Now the inverter's got an internal fan and it's got an internal, it's got a light that comes on, but 2.5 amps per hour is what it's telling me it's running. And I'm, or 2.5 amps anyway. I don't know if that's per hour or not, but I'm like, there's nothing running. Why do you need that much power to sit and stand by? So it seems to me like the, the, the inverter should have some sort of sensing switch that shuts itself off and kicks itself back on when something is plugged into it. I don't know. I, I don't know much about inverters. I'm still kind of learning, but um, more experimenting is needed. Okay, so something was beeping at me a minute ago. I turned everything off. I've got, uh, this thing says that it has a remote with an RJ11 and a USB plug. It says remote, right? Actually, that's probably for that. So we probably plug a remote in here and you turn it on remote power and you can power it off and on remotely. I, I don't know if it's a wireless remote or if it's a wired remote that goes in here. You have to run a wire into the cab of your truck or in your van or wherever you're going to install this. But that might be something that I do for later because if I'm going to use this, I probably won't want it running all of the time and drawing two amps. This thing turned off. It's got a timeout on it and pulling two and a half amps just, you know, for no reason at all. So I probably don't want to do that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This inverter is capable of supplying more power than this battery is capable of outputting, which is fine. That's, that's totally fine. No problem. That's the purpose of today's test and experiment. So I'm going to turn my, I've got my heat gun. I've got a skill saw. Over here, I've got my reciprocating saw. And I'm going to show you something cool about those saws here in a minute. And then I've got my Big Monster EcoFlow Delta Pro battery, which if you plug that in and turn it on, it draws about 12 or 1300 watts just. And so in other words, it, draw, it draws more wattage than the battery is capable of supplying. So that's going to shut it down here in a second. But you can, you can also adjust that in the software of the EcoFlow. So I'm going to turn my heat gun on here. 
and we're going to look at the meter and see that it's drawing about 30 amps right now. No problem there. Everything's cool. Drawing about 30 amps. And now I'm going to take this. I want you to watch this. I'm going to, I'm going to pull the trigger on this skill saw, but I want you to watch that meter as I do it. You see it jump up to like 50 or 60 amps when I do that? If you ever heard of an air conditioner that has an easy start or a graceful start or something, that's the same thing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the trigger and hold it now. So that saw is only, that saw only needs about, about 8 or 10 amps to actually run, but it needs like 50 amps to kick in. <laughs> I thought that was, I figured it would require a little bit more amperage, amperage to kick in, but 50 amps while it's running at 8 amps, I thought that was a big number there. So, okay. So we've got that, we've got that. I'm going to turn this off because I want to show you the last thing. Oh, well, let me do that again. Actually, let me turn this back on. And for whatever reason, this this one right this uh, heat gun right here, this is just something I got on Amazon. That's low power, and it's pulling about 30, 31 amps. I put it on high power, it drops down to 24 amps. High power requires less amperage. I go figure. I, I don't get that, but whatever. All right, so here's the app for the Redodo battery. You can see it's with the with the the heat gun's still running. It's down at 95%. It's drawing about 760 watts. Current is, this current says it's 59 amps. And that one says it's only 30 amps. So I wonder if it's 30 amps there. This says 53 amps there. Interesting. I just now noticed that. I didn't notice that before. So I'm wondering which one's the... So it'll run... I wonder which one's more accurate. This says it'll run for about an hour and 50 minutes. At its current draw well the, the point of today so i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to test that meter make sure i've got it set up this is just it's a brand new meter i just got out of the box so that makes me think i've got something set wrong on that but it seems to i don't know let's turn uh let's turn this off okay so now the meter is telling me 2.3 amps 1.79 amps there okay and over here it's saying one it's not even saying that so do you trust the meter in the battery or do you trust the meter in the the actual external meter? I do not know. There, 31 amps there, 54 amps here. Almost twice as much. Okay, I'm going to grab this saw and kick it on again and, and leave it running and we're going to see what this number here, this current number here says. All right, so you can see that that number almost doubled, and that number, well, both of those numbers doubled. Power, output, and current output also doubled, but according to that, it was still only running about 38, 39 amps while the saw was continuing to run. So honestly, I'm wondering how accurate this meter is in the battery, honestly. Because that seems like a that's a big difference between 53 amps here and 30 amps there. But this is called experimenting. So that's what the the point of today's video is to test that battery. And that battery is doing a fantastic job running all of these things. So now I'm going to unplug. Well, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, but I'm gonna go ahead and unplug these. And now now this thing. It's going to kick in and start charging itself. 1,500, 1,900 watts, 158 amps, 2,000 watts. Discharging over protection. There we go. That's what we wanted. BMS discharging over protection. That's exactly what we wanted. Because that proves that if you put too much of a draw on this battery, it's going to the BMS is going to protect itself. So I drew 3,000, 2,000 watts. Whatever it was, I drew that beforehand, and it ran it for a minute. So that's exactly what you want to see. So 
In my opinion, that is a successful test. That's a 100 amp hour battery. In a real world scenario, you wouldn't, this, uh, this EcoFlow Delta Pro is a 3600 watt battery system. So basically it's 300 amp hour battery. If you take 3600 and divide it by 12 volts, you get 300. So you wouldn't use a 100 amp hour battery to charge a 300 amp hour battery. You wouldn't really do that. But that's not the purpose of today's experiment. Today's experiment was to see if the BMS shut itself off, how much capacity we could get out of it and what it could run. And that's exactly what this is doing. Redodo, again, Redodo sent me this battery. This is the third battery they've sent me. I've been very happy with all the Redodo batteries. This one is the Group 24 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. Any types of sales, or they, they run periodic sales. They send me emails about, all the time. Any types of sales they have or discounts for my viewers, for, for, uh, for you guys, I will put in the description below. Check that out. Let me know in the comments if you have a Red Odo battery, if you like it, what you think about it, which one you're using, and uh, we'll catch you next time.